Hey guys, it's Steve. Be sure to press like and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about power outages. We're gonna be talking about Wi-Fi outages and we're gonna be talking about um, water outages and, and how common they are. In some of the provincial areas, you do get power outages quite often, okay? But in the cities, most cities are pretty decent about brownouts and, and um, blackouts and stuff like that. Now, during typhoon times, you could be out for as much as a week, sometimes even two weeks in some areas, depending on where you live. In the, in the provinces, you could be out for two weeks in a real bad um, typhoon, okay? Uh, we're actually having like kind of a mini typhoon today. It's like heavy rains or whatever, but anyway, um, blackouts here usually are not that common. We do get like power blips where it'll go down for a minute or it'll go down for an hour um, in between. It's not very often, but it's often enough that it can be a, a hassle. And it, like I said, it depends on the areas that you live in. So you do want to be aware of these. I do recommend people get some sort of... Um, you can get a, a gas power generator, I suppose. If, if you really want to protect yourself, make sure you have like a five gallon gas tank around the house or whatever. I think that's a little bit risky having a five gallon gas tank around your house. But you could do that or you can get one of those electric, what they call electric generators and it has enough power to probably power your house. If you shut off the AC and you just have like a small refrigerator attached, it'll probably run for a day, you know? And if you have a, a, a solar panel that you can hook up to it, a small one, you could probably power it up again, you know, here and there. Like refrigerators can are usually fine for like about three or four hours or more. So you can power it up off the sun and then recharge it and then shut off your refrigerator during that time and then plug it back into the thing. Um, I recommend for most people though, because of the typhoons here, is to just get a small cheap generator. They, they, you can get them for 199 if you shop around. You can find them on sale occasionally through different or different places, you know, and have it shipped directly to your house. But here's the thing about power outages, okay? Most people think that when you get a power outage, you automatically lose your Wi-Fi, okay? And we do get Wi-Fi outages too, okay, on occasion. But I do notice that most of the time when we get a um an like a a power outage or what have you, I have a UPS the un uninterruptible power supply, that's, that's a mouthful, okay? And it's just basically a battery, okay? And it keeps that running up to like, I think like four or five hours or something like that, somewhere around there. And I shut it off only, and use it only when I'm gonna use it. I also have one on my computer, my Mac, okay? And I have that on there and I sh shut up, my, it gives me time to shut up my computer so it just doesn't cut it off which is really good, so it's kind of like a lifesaver, okay? Um, you, you, you can have that on, on your computer also to use it and then go and turn on your Wi-Fi. I wouldn't have both of them on the same thing. I would have them separate, buy two different ones. It's about $80 for, for two UPSs, okay? And they're, they're excellent to have around. Um, water, we do get water. We usually, when the power goes down, usually the water goes down, okay? It's just the way it works here, okay? And that's not a good thing. It, but if you get a week of no power, usually you have a week of no water, okay? So I always tell people have extra water around. And the blue jugs that have the clean water are good to have, you, you should at least have like three or four of those around and rotate them through, okay? The other thing is if you have a bucket in the bathroom to fill up to flush your toilets and always have a bucket full of water in there and then change it out every couple days, maybe take a shower with it or what have you, but, but fill it up, you know, and keep it full. And these are just some items that you want to, want to do, but these UPSs, you can get these in any of the elect, elect, electronics sections of the malls. They sell them in all those places. I, every mall I've gone to has had them and they're well worth the money to get them. Like, like I said, they're about 40 bucks, 50 bucks at the most for a really decent and good one, okay? And these these are they're, they're a really top of the line product, I think. I think they're really good. They tell you that they're charged. It tells you how, you know, how much electricity it has in them, all that stuff. So this is, this is something you, ha you really, really should get in the Philippines because God forbid you have to make a phone call or something like that, okay? And you need to use 
the Wi-Fi to make the phone call because most of the phone ser services over here have a Wi-Fi thing so you can use your Wi-Fi if you're on Wi-Fi and have it go through your phone go through the Wi-Fi. You just go into your settings and you can hook that up, okay? So it's good to have that Wi-Fi for emergency calls if you're in an area that, that doesn't get good cell um, tower reception or what have you. It's just a big plus, okay? Um, if you're out in the provinces and you have you have wi uh, internet out there, Wi-Fi, <clears throat> and you have this, it's, it can be a lifesaver because out there they have more power outages out in the provinces in some areas. It depends where you are. Each island is different, okay? But some islands are really known for it for having um, lots of power outages. Where I live, we get a few here and there. Most of the time it's during a big storm or something like that. Usually we get like maybe 24 to 48 hours. It's funny because my street's really weird because we had people that were down, they're during the last big typhoon. We had people that were down, that right down the street here at the gym and I think they were down for, I think like four days or something like that, three or four days. And we were back up, I think, in like 24 hours or something like that. It was relative, relatively fast. I mean, we live right next to the mayor, too, so I'm sure she gets fast service. And, and we're lucky that we're right next to her, you know. Um, but, you know, if you stay on top of this stuff, you can, you can get around it. And like I said, generators, gas-powered generators, uh, UPSs all come in handy. As far as the water issue, like I said, the, the blue jugs, they come in handy, Have ex maybe have a couple of um, big five gallon jugs filled with just, you know, water for showers or whatever and put them out back and change it maybe every every month or put some uh, iodine in there so it doesn't go, the water doesn't go bad or whatever. Just put like maybe five to ten drops of iodine in the water and it, it won't go, it'll, it'll, it'll be good for quite a while maybe change it out every year or something like that. So at least then you have some shower water, you know, and it's just, just some recommendations, guys, because you are gonna be looking for water during those times, trust me, because when we were down, even for 24 hours, you know, we were, there was things that we didn't plan on, you know, and, but the things that did save us was the UPS. As far as power, we did have the, the, the bucket of water in the bathroom that helped us, and we did have the blue blue jug of water we didn't have as many as we should have but we if we had had three we would have been better off so that's that's why I recommend three or four depending on your family size if you got a big family get more um, you like I said you might want to put some jugs of water out back throw some iodine in it these are all things that you can plan on but do you really need a um, a gas generator probably not you know, uh, unless you live out in the provinces. Provinces, I would highly recommend getting a gas generator, but if you live near a city or something like that, they're probably gonna get your electric back up fairly fast. So just just keep that in mind, faster than out in the provinces. But anyway, guys, I hope that helps a little bit. I've been getting a lot of questions on this, um, on brownouts, power outages, um, water outages, and Wi-Fi outages. Wi-Fi, you do get power, I mean, no, no power blips. Uh, you do get outages occasionally, okay? Um, some months are worse than others. Some months you don't get any outages at all, and, you know, you're fine. If We have Converge. Converge, I, I think, is a little bit better than PLDT as far as less outages, but they do still have outages. For you guys that are... Somebody was asking me the other day about um, that he's on the stock market or something like that, and he does um, day trading. Um, if you're doing day trading, I, I think for the most part you'll be fine here, but you could you could find yourself in a pickle occasionally. So it'd be something you'd want to be careful of or have a backup. Um, using you can also use phone data too. So you can use a hotspot. Okay, so there's you want to if, if you're doing day trading, I highly recommend that you have a hotspot so that you can use the cell tower and you have a UPS so that you can use your Wi-Fi when the power goes down. Um, but the hotspot would be the big one, so when your, when your um, Wi-Fi goes down, you could use the hotspot to do your trading, okay? But that's, that would cover that pretty much and you'd be pretty safe. Anyway, guys, God bless. I hope that answers everybody's questions. If you have any questions, you can, you can write them in the comment section. Um, when you do write them in the comment section, guys, 
don't put your comment under somebody else's comment because otherwise I don't see it. Make sure it's a new comment, okay? Because people are asking me questions and they're asking me why I don't answer them. And if I didn't answer you, it's probably because you put put your question under somebody else's question as almost like as an answer. So I, th I think some of you guys are messing up in the way you, you, you post your comment. Make it a new comment and usually I'll answer it right away. Anyway, guys, God bless, take care. And be sure to like and subscribe, guys. Thanks, guys.